Do you want your multi-cloud deployments to be boring or like a roller coaster? I'm Chris Lazaro from IBM, and I'm going to talk to you about GitOps for multi-cloud. But before I do that, please be sure to like and subscribe. The approach we're going to talk about today is simple, consistent, and secure. Now, typically, when customers are building applications, they start out with an on-prem environment. And they have a GUI and a CLI for managing that environment. But then they want to move to the cloud and utilize cloud environments. So they start using a cloud, and it has its own GUI and its own CLI. And things get a little bit more complicated. And now they have hybrid cloud apps that are stretching across on-prem and cloud. And these different environments can be difficult to manage. But the advantages of cloud are there, and so they continue, and now they add additional clouds in order to have the flexibility to move their applications from one cloud to the next or use multiple clouds for different purposes. So now you have a GUI and CLI across your on-prem, your first cloud, and any other cloud that you're using, and things start to become pretty difficult. Now OpenShift helps. OpenShift provides a secure, consistent way of managing your infrastructure and applications, no matter whether they're on-prem or in the cloud. But we're going to take things a step further and show how GitOps can really manage everything through Git operations. So you have your dev team, and they are used to doing all of their work inside of Git. So source code is all managed within Git. And you have your ops team and they're in charge of managing all of your different environments. So how do we bring dev and ops together? Well, we can set up repositories for infrastructure, for services, and for the applications. So when we go and look at your deployed environments, your dev, your test, and your prod environments can all be managed in your infrastructure repo. And then when you start deploying services that your application depends on, things like a messaging service, that can be managed as well in the services repo. And then the application itself. You've got your application, the source code, continues to be managed in the application repo. So when you deploy that, uh, you've got your front end and your back end. That again is all managed in Git. And so rather than using the different management consoles, when you check into Git, you've got tools that are automatically ensuring your Git environment manages and matches your production environment. So as changes are made over here, they get deployed and uh, mimicked over here so that they match. Now one funny story is when we were demoing this to a customer, we started setting up this whole environment. And so we had our Git repo, but Git is pretty boring to demo. No one wants to see a pull request. And we started showing OpenShift, but no matter where we were, whether we're on-prem in our one cloud or another cloud, OpenShift looked exactly the same. So we started to pull up the individual management consoles, and we realized we don't even have access to the third-party management console. The team that was setting this up was using a shared account that had been locked down. So even, even demoing this stuff, we were showing the value of GitOps because it was um, very secure in the fact that 
we didn't even have access to show those management consoles. So GitOps is an approach that's simple, consistent, and secure for managing your environments. And you don't have to be like a roller coaster. You can have boring deployments across multi-cloud. Thank you. If you have any questions, please drop us a line below. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, please like and subscribe.